That's right. I'm going to be melting down some copper today. This is actually a part two because the first video I made, I scrapped out all this stuff from an electric fan motor. Really, I wanted to get the copper and that's what I have here. So again, today I'm going to be melting down this copper in my propane melting furnace. So I'm just going to load the crucible up with this copper and I'm going to bring it outside and start melting the copper. And it's only going to take about 15 or 20 minutes to get this melted down and ready to pour. I was pretty sure I lit my camera on fire. So the copper has now fully melted and it's now time to remove the dross that floated to the top of the molten copper. ingot molds before you pour molten metal into them. You'll not only warm them up, you'll also remove any of the moisture that possibly built up inside of them.
It's about 10 to 15 minutes later, and it's now time to remove this copper ingot from the ingot mold. We're going to remove both of them and then dip them into water to cool them off. They get to dry it off and I'm inside my garage. It's now time to put these things on a scale and see how much they weigh. So I have gotten 1.728 pounds of copper out of that electric fan motor. That's not too bad because I got some steel and aluminum out of the same motor as well. But we can't just keep these in this condition. We have to clean them up a little bit. I mean, I'm just going to store them on my shelf for now. But let's put them in the vise and start cleaning them up. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Ooh, oops. Oh, oop. Oh, well, I guess I'll leave that on the film for you guys to see. I'm not perfect. So let's clean up some more of the sides. Make it look even better. But here they are, all cleaned up with just using a wire wheel. And I think using a hard bristled wire wheel works the best because my soft bristle wire wheel that I use with my Dremel tool definitely does not do the same job as the hard bristled wire wheel. 